Are the Saints the team you hate the most in the NFL? Yes. Is there an even close second? Second would be Cowboys, but it's... But if not for the same reasons. Some of the same reasons. I hate their fans equally as much. Yeah. But no, no, it's 1A and then like 5 would be... Got it. Uh, uh, and then, the then who Cowboys. would be a team? Falcons get eliminated. Who'd be the next team that you're really hoping for? Does it, just, it change it season to season? On the season. Me, yeah, I don't me have too. like a second team. Yeah, me but too. It's like uh, last year I was rooting for the Lions, but they didn't make it to the playoffs. Yeah, I have um, I have teams that if they're if depending upon what's going on, who's on the team? Bengals when they went to yeah. the Super Bowl, I was rooting for them. Me I, too. I love I. Even though they're like a dynasty now, I still don't hate the Chiefs. I like them a lot. I, I like Pat Mahomes. How can you great. not appreciate he's, that man's he's a great. gift? Um, but no, I, I have one team. I mean, yeah. I guess technically uh, the Chargers, because my dad was a fan growing up with them. I wish they wouldn't have left San Diego. Yeah. Um, that made me sad. But. Josh! Anyway. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. We like football. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Porn Cheese. Are you going to watch this year? Because I don't think you watched last year. I'll watch a little bit more this year, yeah. No. I mean, I, I like, you love football. Oh, yeah. No, I do not. I it. really like football. I, the, the, the problem oftentimes, and I'm going to try to remedy it this season, is I, I often get so focused on the postseason in baseball yeah. that by the time that's over, the season's already six weeks in. For football. But the Yankees aren't even make the playoffs. Or well, the Yankees suck ass. <laughs> but the Dodgers are absolutely in the thick of it. The they'll Red they'll Sox be in there. The best team in the MLB. Well, <laughs> if the Yankees don't, I mean, for, uh, Steinbrenner should sell the team. Um. Anyways, but Judge did become the fastest player to ever reach 250 home runs in the history of Major League Baseball. He just hit his 250th. No one's gotten it that fast. Oh, wow. Uh, what are we doing, Corbin Miles? I don't know. Stop asking me. Oh. Today we got a video. This is called Dungle, How Indian Film Captivated China. Yeah, it's the biggest success of all time in India cinema history. In terms of box office? Yeah. Which blew our minds. Uh, and it was, ma and one of the reasons it is, is because it was so popular in China. So, like Amir Khan. That's so interesting to uh, me. He's probably the, you guys let me know if I'm wrong. I think he's probably the biggest star in China in terms of India. Indian cinema. I mean, Shah Rukh Khan, I guess, would be a close second. But any, any reason well, why, what that's all about? They like him a lot, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but this video, so maybe this will go into explaining it. We've seen a couple videos from this channel. You'll probably recognize the guy's voice. He does video essays. I don't know if he was the one that did the Superstar Roshnikov fan one. The, oh, the, one? the Japanese fan? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but we've seen a couple videos from this channel. So here we go. Cool. Looking forward. We love Dongle. Haven't seen Dongle. Great in a while. movie. It's been a long time. This but video is sponsored. His by transformation food. was incredible in that uh, Amir Khan. Summer and it's such an, a, it's such an Dongle inspiring was story. In mainland China and the entire China social media burst into flame. Everyone was talking... Wow, I thought there'd be more information. <laughs> Everyone was talking about it, and it was nothing but praise. <laughs> Based on a true story, Dang Gao is a 2016 Indian sports drama about a father who raises his daughters into Olympic wrestling. In this journey of defiance against traditional gender roles, the film tackles the topic of gender inequality in India. With a fantastic premise, solid story, and masterful acting, the film became the highest grossing India film ever made, breaking in an impressive 77 million US dollar in India, and more than double that in mainland China. I wasn't joking when I said China burst into flame for this movie. You see, the 2010s was a decade of feminism in China. Huh. In 2011, Chinese celebrity Li Yang was publicly accused of domestic violence by his ex-wife, Kim Li. Li said the police did not take action as both they and Li Yang believed the abuse was private domestic affair. In reaction to this case and other discrimination cases that followed, women's rights entered public discussion once more. Good. Chinese women petitioned for further legal protection, while some men mocked activists as female boxers, upon the implies women to be man-haters. 
Tonga was released right in the middle of this feminist wave, oh, okay. and it became like a perfect storm. Ally, the movement needed. Despite the massive cultural divide, women across China still find the film eerily relatable.、Mm. Turns out, the one common thing between the two ancient nations is thousands of years worth of sexism. <laughs> Today, from a Chinese perspective, let me walk you through this Indian masterpiece and show you what Chinese women see in this film. Let's talk about why you too should watch this movie. Oh, we already have. Thank you so much. So it's kind of like a perfect storm, almost. I guess so. Movement and yeah. film. Yeah. Our story begins with Mahavi, a former national wrestling champion. Despite talent, his Olympic dream was cut short due to the harsh financial reality. Funding for sports in India has been lacking historically. Most athletes in India struggle to make a living. पहलवानी में सौरत कमाई इज्जत कमाई बस पैसे नहीं कमा पाए। Mahavi too has to set his dream aside. He ended up a lowly wrestling coach in his village. Each night he'll look at his awards. जो मैं करना चाहता था वो बाहर आप बेटा करके दिखाएगा। देश के लिए गोल जीतेगा हमारा बेटा। And with this half patriotic, half selfish motivation, Mahavi anxiously awaits his first trap. Chori hui. That face is so familiar to me.、Mm. For a very long time, I was the only son in our extended family. All of my paternal uncles had daughters, and I distinctly remember when one of my cousins was born. Someone in my family exclaimed. How come it's a girl again?、Oh, wow! Fortunately, just as Mohavi loves his daughters, my cousins were loved as well. Good. But there is always this undertone that I, the only grandson, is the most valuable one to my grandparents. That I bear the most responsibility for this family. <sighs> this is hardly the standard, however. More than a few of my female friends, as a counter example, grew up in neglect. In fact. Girls in China are more likely to be neglected by parents, although boys are more likely to be physically abused.、Mm. Basically, boys need to be whipped into shape, while girls are just whatever. The subtext is that daughters just aren't as valuable. There are many justifications for this perception, but in my eyes, they are all excuses. Now you can see why the Chinese audience instantly bonded with the film.、Mm. After the birth of his first daughter, the entire village begins giving Mahavi tips on having a son. Mahavi, ये पुत्र मंत्र लिख के दे रहे हैं आप। सच्चे मन से जो आप करते रहना, हाँ? That too happens a lot in China.、Mm. Superstitions, of course, don't work. Mahavi and his wife continue to have three more daughters. Seeing this, Mahavi decides it's time to give up his dreams. While we are on the topic of awesome Indian movies, why not check out some more with today's sponsor, Movie? If you don't know, Movie is a streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from around the world. We've watched a few movies.、Uh, great word, elevating.、Movie、includes classics like Gangs of Wasapur, both Hot One and Two. It's one of, if not the most requested film for this channel, and it lives up to the hype. Sure does. Six-hour movie. Similarly, if you are interested in Chinese cinema, Let the Bullet Fly is also highly requested. Which one?、And、What do you say? Let the bullets fly. Honestly,、oh, thank every you. Movie I'll movie check that out. Is fantastic. As the entire catalog is. Oh,、curated. that's a good movie. Pick a movie from one of the many collections and retrospectives. Or browse by country, by year, or by genre. Read the summary or curator's note or user reviews. From iconic director to emerging authors, pop on a movie and have a fantastic time. If you are interested, you can try movie free for thirty days at movie.com/axonthecinema. That's m-u-b-i.com/axonthecinema for a whole month of great cinema. Enjoy the beauty of world cinema today. Check out the link below and give movie a try. The story takes a turn when one day Mahavi comes home to see two schoolboys having their ass handed to them <laughs> by his two older daughters, Jita and Babita. Goddamn right. And so an idea comes to Mahavi. He'll train his daughters、What? to become wrestlers. Girls can do it too. Strict diet, <laughs> intense exercise, all distractions removed. 
If their clothes are in the way, Mahavi changes them. If their hairs get in the way, he cuts them. बस इतना समझ ले जो भी कर रहे हो उनके भड़े के लिए कर रहे हो और वो चीज जो पहलवानी सिंह का ध्यान हटावेगी मैं उसने हटा दी होगा He raises his starters like sons. This is another thing that the Chinese audience can relate. I can find any study on this, so you have to take this with a grain of salt. But as far as I know, parents raising their daughters like sons is a somewhat common thing in China. Mm. Under this practice, the daughters are given traditionally male-sounding names, often grow up in gender-neutral clothing. They are taught math and science over arts and music, and they are encouraged to be stoic, reserved, and independent. Often this practice is motivated by the parents' unfulfilled desire to have a son, but that is not the only reminds me of the Irfan movie. To many parents, this is also for their daughter's future. Gala? You see, in I mean, Chinese history and literature, the one where he wanted the son, the Punjabi one, in the two yeah. categories. On one end, we have Mulan, the warrior; Wu Zetian, the female emperor; Empress Lu, the politician. They were women who did the men's work. Cunning and determined, these women lived long and successful lives. And then there is Diao Chan, Yang Guifei, Consort Yu. These are women defined wow. by the beauty and their relationships to men, and they were all driven to suicide at the end of the story. It's a strong internalized cultural bias. Beautiful women are seen as Helen of Troy, a source of trouble. So for a daughter to be competitive in China. She has to man up. In a way, Mahavi is doing the same thing to his daughters. In this scene,、mm. Jita and Babita complain to the friend about the abusive father. <laughs> Sitting in front of them is their friend, a fourteen-year-old girl who's about to become a bride. <laughs> It is here we begin to see Mahavi from a different perspective. Mahavi is a fraud character. His treatment of his daughters is hard to love. Yet I think a lot of Chinese women would agree he made the right choice. It is a privilege to be able to choose your own destiny. Many women in India have no such choice. Many women around the world have no such luxury. Should the daughters grow up as everyday girls, they'll be stuck in the lowest caste of society, cook, clean, and bear children. In an unjust society, this kind of hardship is the only way out. If you are familiar with the Japanese cram school culture, it's pretty much the same in China as well. Students, both boys and girls, spend every waking minute in high school studying for the national college entrance exam. Why? Because the entrance exam has a low barrier to entry. It offers an equal playing field for disadvantaged students to seize their own destiny. A diploma from a top university allows low-income students to find high-income employment. A degree title allows women to be independent and not be dictated by men. Perhaps having experienced this type of hardship, Chinese people are often very understanding of Mahavi. Even when Mahavi repeatedly says that the whole thing is his dream. मेरे पास और कोई चारा ना था। उम्मीद तो मैं छोड़ने से रहा, तो नौकरी छोड़ दी। Chinese reviewers, nevertheless, would say this film is a great depiction of fatherly love. Jita and Babita realized the importance of the training. They became much more receptive to wrestling. Soon, they start winning local tournaments and then national ones. Jita will enter the national team and eventually entering the finals of the Commonwealth Games. So, the night before her final battle, sitting in front of the stadium, Mahavi gives his daughter one last lesson. Spatima, चोरियों को देख रही है. कल तू जीतेगी तो अकेले नहीं जीतेगी. तेरे साथ उनके जैसी लाखों चोरियाँ जीतेगी. This line resonates with so many people. If you belong to a group facing prejudice, you know that your action is never just your action. You are always a representative of your group. 
the book is During blocked the in some states. Chinese feminist wave, one of the most used examples of media bias is car accidents. Oh. News articles frequently refer to female drivers as female drivers, <laughs> while male drivers are just drivers. Every time you see a story about car accidents, you only ever heard of the mistakes made by yeah. women, while mistakes made by men are gender neutral. The failure of a male driver is the failure of an individual. The failure of a female driver is an indication of women being unfit to drive. Even though per capita, Chinese women are overwhelmingly less likely to be in traffic accidents. The words of Mojave struck a chord with Chinese women. Jita has to fight the world just to get the same amount of rights and respect that men get from birth. That is the reality for the vast majority of Chinese women too. Will Jita succeed in the end? I'll let you watch the movie and find out. While researching for this film, I posted a community post asking my audience about the practice of raising daughters like sons. At the time, I thought it was a Chinese thing, but then I got flooded with emails from around the world, sharing stories from the Middle East, from Eastern Europe, from Southeast Asia, and from my Chinese American audience. This movie isn't just about India, and it doesn't just resonate with China. Certainly, the film has its problems, one of which is how the story is told almost exclusively through a flawed male perspective. But for my male viewers, that also means this will be a good entryway to know more about women's struggles. Just to show how real and important the film's topic is, allow me to share one last anecdote. I once had an Iranian friend in secondary school in Canada. One day during recess, I asked her what's her plan after graduation. And she said she doesn't really have a plan because once she's out of school, she'll have to get married. Her tone of voice was sheared into my memory. She doesn't sound sad, but she sounded hesitant. She knew this sounded wrong. She was 15. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> good video. Well done video. Good video essay as, as usual. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I recognize his voice. So we've seen him yeah, we at have. least a few times. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm still recording the screen here. Why am I still recording the screen? Am I really? Okay. Anyways. Um, and so I guess it was kind of like almost a perfect storm of why that film did so well. Yeah, which Maybe I didn't know, why, obviously. That's why, obviously, I think a, a lot of Indian films have done well in other Asian countries. Because, yeah. I mean, even though the cultures are extremely different, they're also very similar in some aspects. Sure. Um, so that makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Aside from the part of it just being a, a, a really good movie. I was unaware of it arriving at the time there was this influx and increase of things pertaining to women's rights yeah. in China. Um, um, and also the other points he made about the, the focus that is made um, of fathers treating their girls like the males they wish that had been born. Mm. And they could see the dad in this doing that because he is in in the film no spoilers it was given there but if you haven't seen dongle which i guess all of you have but he does i mean right at the very beginning to say you know your expectation is first and foremost give me this son and you're disappointed with a daughter and then before the child's even born you've already decided that they're gonna go be athletes and win the gold and that you're gonna drive them to do that yeah that's 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 not you're disappointed with your girls that's why you kept having some till micah no ah okay Sorry. Yeah, I've never, <laughs> I have never understood. Well, we are an, we never are understood it. So we, uh, we have a, a different perspective on the, uh, in a different kind of. Um, oh, for sure. Privilege uh, that we, as white Americans, uh, in in the white American culture, that it, it's not something that. I mean, obviously, are there people that have prejudices? A hundred percent. But it's nothing in comparison. But it's not national. No, it's nothing like what China or, or at least India uh, sometimes has, depending on the region, obviously. Not at all. And, and, um, and yeah, a, a lot of dads want sons. But there isn't, and, oh. and obviously, when you're talking about the rights of men and women, that's a completely different yes. story. Yeah. But 
as it pertains to the culture that you grow up in, I mean, my stars, China had a one child policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> which is obviously affecting them now. Um, Rightly so. But um, the, I actually always wanted a girl. Yeah, I, I, my, I, my feeling. I come from a family of boys, though. So. My, my feeling was. I'm interested to see what God gives me. And if you don't believe in God, what nature in the universe is going to give to me? And I didn't, I, I had a girl, loved it. And then when knew another one was coming, because the girl was so beautiful, I was kind of hoping for another girl, but it would have been cool to have. A, then when Micah came, it was weird because I'd only had girls. So it was like, oh, what's this going to be like? I was not expecting that, even though I've always thought about, I, I would love to have had both yeah but there was no guarantee i was even gonna have kids yeah so i just and the same thing with grandkids i happen to know i guess intuitively wherever when i was told what do you think it's gonna be i was right when it per pertained to evie being a girl and leviel being a boy oh, it's 50 for 50 so. but i don't care they're human beings wow rick doesn't care about his grandchild you heard it here first everyone yeah i just <laughs> i just i don't i uh, obviously in many cultures around the world, it matters because of the prejudice, but it's sad and it ought not. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, it was a very interesting video because we've always wondered, like, especially Rick, when he found out that Dongo was the highest grossing film of all time. Yeah. China contributed a great, great deal to that. Way more than actually India did. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, money. Made. Yeah. Um, but also, isn't whatever money they use in China worth more than the rupee as well? Yeah, I think yen... Yen has always been a little bit higher value than the rupee. Higher value than the rupee. Yeah, I don't. I know. do not know the exchange rate, but my understanding is, That's, is it is higher. obviously like the dollar is higher, and so yeah. you don't have the to dollar, sell the as pound many tickets exactly to make um, uh, money here off of a film than you do in for, and for I, an Indian. I appreciated the fact that it's coming from his perspective. Uh, you know, have a have a Chinese person explaining the Chinese perspective mm -hmm. in that in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great video as always. Let us know what other videos of his and other videos we can react to down below. Just